Hey Tank Watchers, Jack Byer here with NASA Spaceflight. Welcome to another weekly update. It's been a busy two weeks for SpaceX and Boca Chica, so let's get right into it. Starting with, of course, a word of thanks to Mary, aka Boca Chica Gal on Twitter. She's a Boca Chica resident and NASA Spaceflight team member who relentlessly documents every bit of Starship development that she can. All of the photos and videos you're about to see, unless otherwise noted, are from Mary. So, thanks Mary. First, Starship serial number 8 has passed cryogenic pressure testing after three late night attempts. It has had a thrust simulator removed out from underneath it. It has had three Raptor engines installed, specifically Raptor serial numbers 30, 32, and 39. With those Raptor engines, it has made one attempt at a fuel pre-burner test ahead of a full static fire. What's a pre-burner, you ask? It's a small engine that powers a turbo pump. Each Raptor has two turbo pumps and thus two pre-burners, one on the fuel side for methane and one on the oxidizer side for liquid oxygen. For more, check out this amazing breakdown of the Raptor engine by Tim Dodd, Everyday Astronaut. Link in the description. What's next for SN8? Well, first it has to get a successful static fire under its belt with three Raptor engines. Then they'll have to put the nose cone on it. Staying in the cone zone for a moment, remember how they used to have so many nose cones lying around? Well, not a problem anymore. They've scrapped a couple of them. The full-size nose cone that had been in the windbreak has been moved across the production facility next to the midbay and SN5. Why? I have no idea. And another one of the nose cones has been spotted by Mary with the number six labeled on it in tape. Why? I also have no idea. Your guess is as good as mine. Tell me in the comments. Maybe SN5 and SN6 will get nose cones just for funsies. Who knows? And of course, the nose cone for serial number eight was moved into the windbreak for flap install and eventual stacking in the coming days. And the reinforced five ring barrel section that it will be stacked on has gotten lead-ins and other hardware installed. Those lead-ins will help guide the two halves together during stacking. It's so cool to see flaps installed on a nose cone for the first time in over a year. And it'll be even cooler when that nose cone gets installed on SN8 after a successful static fire. I know we're all insanely excited for serial number 8's 15 kilometer or 50,000 foot test flight. And for good reason. It represents a huge milestone in the Starship development program. And no matter what happens, it's going to look awesome. To that end, based on serial number 8's progress, I think, and this is me guessing to be clear, the earliest it could fly is around Halloween. And that's if everything goes right and nothing goes wrong. For example, one or more Raptor engines could be damaged during static fire testing and need to be swapped out. They could run into issues with nose cone installation, as this will be the first time they've done that in over a year. Or any of a huge number of other items on their checklist, which includes, but isn't limited to, pre-burner testing, static fire testing, nose cone installation, and then another static fire, this time from the header tanks, to simulate Raptor startup during the landing burn. Hopefully, we see flight before November, but we'll just have to be patient and wait for everything to be ready. Moving on, the serial number 7.1 test tank was finally scrapped. It was super cool to see and hear this process. It reminded me of the tentacle from the missile silo level on half if you've ever played that game. In our member discord, available to Capcom YouTube members and higher, or with a lifetime L2 subscription, Rafael Adame made this awesome annotated photo of the plumbing. I don't really have much else to say about this photo, other than thank you to Rafael and everybody who puts in time to help us all interpret what we see in Mary's amazing imagery. Next up, a quick recap of where we are with all of the various prototypes. Serial numbers five and six seem to have been retired. Now they're just sort of hanging around the build site looking for something to do. Serial number 8 is on pad A with three Raptor engines and waiting for static fire testing. Once that's done, it'll get a nose cone installed and fly to 15 kilometers. I know we all can't wait. Serial number 9 has been fully stacked in the mid bay for a while now and is being prepared for aft flap installation. 
Next to it, in the mid-bay, stacking of serial number 10 is well underway. Parts of serial numbers 11 through 14, that's right, 14, have been spotted by Mary around the build site. And parts of the first Super Heavy Booster are practically littering the build site, just waiting for the high bay to be finished so they can be assembled. A couple other items of note since our last update, Raptor serial number 29, the one used on serial number 6's 150 meter hop, was spotted leaving the build site. Presumably, it's destined for SpaceX's engine testing facility in McGregor, Texas for inspection. What looks like parts for a tent, similar to the ones at the build site were seen at the launch site near the landing pad. I'm super curious what that is all about and what they are actually for, especially given that it seems like any kind of Raptor engine firing would totally decimate any kind of tent. And of course, the walls are continuing to grow. That's okay. Nothing is permanent. You just have to enjoy things while they are the way that they are. And even if and when there are walls around the entire facility, these vehicles are so large, it's kind of impossible to hide them from the beach and public roads in the area. SpaceX will continue to change the landscape of Boca Chica as the facility evolves from the Wild West test site that it is right now into a fully fledged launch facility. We just have to accept that and adapt. So be it. That's it for this week. Thanks for watching and thanks for your support. If you don't already, subscribe. And if you like this video, hit the like button so the robot overlords know you like it. If you want to support what we do, we have a cool merch store with a whole bunch of sweet shirts and other NSF gear. Also, don't forget, we have the YouTube membership program that has perks like Discord access, chat emoji, and members only preview videos. These weekly videos are a work in progress. For example, I know I need a better microphone. Trust me, it's in the works. So, tell us what you think in the comments, and I promise, with your support, we'll keep making this series and everything we do better with every release. Of course, thanks to Mary, aka Boca Chica Gal on Twitter for her tireless efforts to document the development of Starship. Thank you, Mary. Okay, everybody. That's it for this week. Be excellent to each other.